Hey guys, it's Joseph with Actual Airsoft Reviews, and tonight we were going to be doing the review of the Streamlights and the Surefire flashlight. I brought my flashlights out here tonight. Uh, it's a pretty good dark night, and I just want to see the distance of how far they would go. So, let's get started. This is the Streamlight Micro. Runs on a AAA battery. Now I'm on the deck and I've measured all the way out before. The fire hydrant I did not measure. But that's the shed over there on the left. That's about 75 feet. The swing set is about 35, 33, something around there. And this is about how far this light goes. It's not really picking up on the camera. Oh, there it goes. It's hard to see on the camera. But you can see how far it reaches. I'm going to pan the camera to the left a little bit. Now this is running off one AAA battery again. This is a very small flashlight. I'm going to pan it back to the center. Right about down here is probably going to be 10 to 15 feet. This is a great light to keep on you in your jean pocket. Uh, if you have a dress shirt, you can put this in your pocket with your pens. It's a great compact light. You can really see a lot with it. For the price range, that is. Okay guys, next up is the Streamlight ProTac 2 AA. This is a pen style light. It's a little bit longer than a pen and it runs off of two AA batteries. Now this one's rated, I believe, 155 lumens. And once again, this is just running off of two AA batteries. You can't pick it up well on the camera, but the spill, the, the width of the light is more, like with the camera the spotlight is, I can actually see below it and I can see this area down here. The camera's just not good at picking up the fine detail at night. But I can see the fire pile and I can see the, uh, the garden in the back of my garden. That's, the garden was measured from the deck about 137 feet. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Yeah, the camera's not picking it up, but it's right back there. And I can see the, the outer lines of the fire pile. Now this flashlight also has the strobe mode. And it also has a low lumen mode. Now, I don't remember what the lumen rating was on this, but I want to say it's under 20. Sorry. Uh, I can see the shed from here with it, and you can see it in the video faintly, but in person it's, it's a lot better. Now let's look up at the trees, how far we can see up. Uh, it's not picking up well on the camera, but from here, I can see the trees just fine. I can see to the top of this tree. This pine tree is really tall. It's one of the tallest trees I have here. We're going to move on to the next light. Okay, we're back now with the Streamlight ProTac High Lumen model by Streamlight. This is one of their updated models. I believe it was updated last year, around August of 2015 when this was released. I'm not 100% sure about that. But this time it was, it was updated from, I believe it's 600 lumens 
and now the new model, the one I have, is rated for 750 lumens. And on a low mode, it's going to be rated for 35 lumens. So let's get started. Okay, look at that. 750 lumens. Now I can see the fire pot, I can see the garden, and I can see the trees in the back. Uh, you can't really see it on the camera, but I have some cones in the yard. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, you can't see it. Um, I have some cones in the back that are right at 200 feet, and I can see them. They're marked. And the tree line in the very back behind those cones, way back there, is about 300 to 315 feet in the woods, and I can see those. I can see the trees in the back. Are our tallest trees in the back and I can make out the base of it from here uh, the camera can't pick that up but I can see that just fine with this so I can zoom out a little bit focus a little bit better now remember all my lights I just put new fresh batteries in them so these are all functioning at max power full power they're not used or drained up let me zoom out real quick there's that tree I was looking at earlier. You can actually see the whole thing on video. The pine tree. We were doing that with the ProTac 2 AA. Pan this around for you. Once again, the shed is about 75 feet from the deck. Oh, sorry about that. Tripod moving over the place. Now this also has a strobe mode. I've used this in one of my airsoft videos. It's well not videos, uh, it was one of my gameplay footage. And I used this at Balahat, clearing the tower. The thing was pretty impressive. Alright, we're back now with the Streamlight TLR1 High Lumens, a mounted device on your pistol. This is my Glock 17 Tokyo Maruri. A little hard to see on the camera, but it's right there. Let me show you. Now, there's two ways to do this. You push up to hold. Oh, I'm sorry about that. The camera zoomed in. You push up to hold, or you push down for fixed position. It just stays on toggles. Now, this one I bought back in June. Of 2016 it says on the new models 800 lumens but I believe the one I bought was rated at 600 it didn't sh I looked on the my receipt and I couldn't tell and I think I have the package saved somewhere in my room and I will have to look to double check because I don't believe this is 800 lumens but this is the 600 lumen model the old one it also has strobe mode. You push up twice and hold it. Or you push down twice. Hold on, I do it with two hands. Sorry. Yeah, you, you push down halfway and then you push all the way and it toggles it. You can see the gun and the light on it. Alright guys, last up of the Streamlight models of flashlights we're demoing tonight is the ProTac HL3. Now this one's different from the ProTac, uh, the other one, the mid-size one, because this one runs off of three CR123 batteries. And this one's supposed to be rated at 1100 lumens. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't screw the cap on. And this one is much brighter than the other one. You can really see it on video. Right away, you can actually see the back now. Before, I don't think you could see that. Back there. Let's see if I can focus that. Let me press the button.
It didn't, uh, it didn't focus. It's hard to focus at night. But you can actually... Uh, you see those plants right there? And the garden, those things sticking up right there where the beam is. Just above it on the top left is like a little orange, just four cones. Small cones. Uh, it's hard to see. Uh, you can see it there a little bit. The video. But that's 200 feet. Out there where those cones are. Well, I can see the backyard with this. This is, this is reaching 300 feet. Easily. It's just harder to pick it up on the camera. Look up. The tree. Alright guys, back with the Surefire Fury. Now, this is not a stream light, this is a Surefire. I bought this, I believe it was 2013. And it's, I believe it was rated for 500 lumens at the time I bought it. Now this is still running off of two CR123 batteries. Remember the garden right there is running, excuse me, the garden is at 135 feet to 140 feet. And the fire pile is right behind it. And that's about 155 feet. And the cones. I can see the cones with the flashlight. Uh, you can't really see it in the video because it doesn't pick it up too well. The darkness. But the cones are at 200 feet. And I can see them from here. I can make them out. They're standing up in the grass. I can see them. But this is a couple years old. The flashlight. I pretty much carry this flashlight with me most of the time. Now let's look at the trees. Now one thing I don't like about the Surefire is, it's not that I don't like it, but it's not a feature of it. It doesn't have the strobe mode like the streamlights do. Even the basic streamlight, the the forty dollar one, the pro, the two pro, the um, the pen one. Sorry, got the name mixed up. The Protect two A. It has a strobe mode. I'm gonna compare now the Surefire Fury in my right hand. And we're going to compare it with the, the uh, Streamlight Pro Tag 2. Whoops. Now my right hand is the Surefire Fury. And the left is the Streamlight Pro Tag 2. On the left is the Surefire. On the right is the Pro Tag. Now the Surefire, remember, it's 500 lumens, and the Streamlight is supposed to be at, I believe it was, eight, I said 750, excuse me. On the left is the Surefire, on the right is the Streamlight. Now this is what the Streamlight can do over the Surefire, it has a strobe mode. And that's on all the models so far I have, except the AAA Micro Streamlight. Alright, I'm going to turn these off real quick. Now we're going to compare the Surefire Furry with the Protect HL3. I'm going to put the Surefire back in my right hand. And the Protect HL3 in my left. You can see how much more it overtakes it. You can see how big the spill is. Shift fire in my right hand. Okay, 500 lumens. Mm -hmm. 
in the left, it's a Streamlight HL3. You can see the where the camera picks it up. It's picking this one up a little bit better. All right. All right, guys. I got the Streamlight Pro HL3 in my left hand, and in my right, I have the Streamlight ProTac HL. Remember, the three has the three CR123A batteries. It's rated at 1100 lumens, and the updated version of the ProTac uh, high lumen in my right hand is rated at 750. Both feature strobe modes. Excuse me, I think we're zoomed in. Ah, uh, there we go. This is the, in my right hand, the ProTac. This is rated at 750. And the left, 1100 lumens. And both, excuse me, feature strobe lights. And both have low operating lumen modes. I don't remember what they're rated at, but the ProTac HL3 is definitely brighter than the two. I want to say the three is around 30 lumens. I believe that's what it said on the card. And this one was around, I believe it's 20 to 25. Not 100% sure, but I will find the packaging. I will put this in the video. Alright guys. On my left hand is going to be the Streamlight. High Lumen ProTac 750 lumens. And on my right is going to be the weapon mounted one. On the Tokyo Mirui Glock 17. It's going to be the Streamlight TLR1 High Lumen. This one was rated at 750. And I don't remember what this one was rated at. The new model says it's rated at 800 lumens. But when I got mine back in June, I do not believe it said 800. I think it was the outdated 650 lumen or 600. I'm not 100% sure. I will have to find the package in my house. Once again, that's 750 lumens. It does look brighter. The, the pattern is not as big as the diameter as, as the gun. I mean, excuse me. The gun is not as big as the diameter as the ProTac 2. You can see it's just a focus beam. This one spills out more. You can you see the spill right there. The fire same, uh, the, the fire hydrant is in the ground. This one, not so much. See, there's no, no undercast spill beam. Alright guys, I got another comparison here. The Streamlight Micro, which is the AAA battery, with the ProTac 2 AA. Now this, the Micro, was recently updated. When I bought mine online, I got the updated model. I believe the outdated model was... 25, 27 lumens, and this one's something like 20, uh, 35, 37, I believe. And on my right is the ProTac 2, double A. Now this one was, I believe it's 155 lumens, not 100% sure, I'm going to have to check on that. Now the micro does not have the uh, strobe mode, but the pen model, the 2A ProTac does. But it also has a low light operating mode, the, the ProTac 2A. But you can see the spill on it. It's not as big as the pen. 
No, oh, excuse me. It's a micro stream. I think the output on the 2A Protect is 15 or 10 lumens. I'm not 100% sure. Once again, I'm going to put that at the end of the video. Alright guys, I got a little bonus for you here at the end of the video. I got my Streamlight AA Siege. It's a lantern. I'm going to go out in the yard. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you. Be right back. show you the strobe mode on the flashlights. What they would look like in person. I'm sorry, on a face uh, head on encounter. This is the ProTac 2. Excuse me, this is the ProTac HL. 750 lumens. This is the ProTac HL3. 1100 lumens. And this is going to be the ProTac 2A. I believe it's 155 lumens once again. And thanks again, guys, once again for watching the review.